Hey guys, so I know I said I wasn't going to clear out much more of new garden space for the season because of the whole tick thing and didn't want to run into any snakes, but we did run into a snake under the deck. Wasn't even in a wooded area. So I wasn't going to let that deter me from clearing out some new garden space. I had an idea for a secret garden behind this shed, so me and my husband came out here and we went ahead and cleared out this little space for the secret garden. And we did run into a eastern warm snake, second snake of the season, but those are pretty much completely harm harmless. They only eat worms and like soft insects and they are blind, so it was under a lot of brush. But we went ahead and cleared a little bit of this area for the secret garden idea that I'm thinking of putting back here. And a little bit of trash right there. Another beautiful shoe. And bottles as well. But with that being said, I'm so happy we got this cleared out for the idea I have. But um, as I was saying, we're going to clear out one more garden space. And I just want to extend this flower bed, this area right here. Um, we did put in a little small flower bed right here, but I want to go ahead and clear up some of this mess right here to include this holly tree and this flower bed as well and make a cute little seating area under these trees right here. So let's go ahead and get started.
Okay guys, so I pretty much cleared out a nice large space for this flower bed. This is all the trash that was in this area. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Whitney and I garden in Virginia Zone 7 on a one acre wooded lot with a dream to turn it into a garden, but it is covered in trash by the previous owner. So creating gardens and digging holes, this is what you come up with. So got a few antique bottles, which will be going to a friend who does crafts with bottles. I have this wire basket that we got out of there. I'm probably going to keep that, put something in it garden-wise. And this cool, what I'm guessing is some kind of saw. I don't know if I'll be doing anything with that. And just a lot of different glass and plastic. And other stuff that I have no clue what it is, but this will be... Oh, and this looks like it's a locker. So this will all be cleaned up. Um, we're going to go ahead and stake up this holly a little bit. It is leaning. And then we're going to do our little seating area down here. Um, what I'm going to do is clean out that area right there where the pitchfork is. I'm going to put a stump there for a little setting area. And then we're going to plant around it. But let's go ahead and get this tree staked. Okay, now that the tree is staked, I'm just going to break out this a little bit. This is the stump I'm going to be using, hopefully if it gets to where I need it and it sets level. Okay, with a little bit of struggling off camera, the stump is in place. Um, I think that'll be a nice little setting area. And I have some perennials that we're going to go ahead and plant. Let's see what we got. So this hosta I bought last year on clearance. I'm going to plant that behind the stump. I have a few hellebores over here, a couple more hostas, some ajuga, and a bleeding heart. So let's go ahead and get planting. Probably should have planted the hosta first before the stump, but that's okay because it's fairly easy digging this hole. So the hosta's in, tucked nicely behind the stump, and that's a Patriot hosta. I'm just going to go ahead and set the camera up and get planting with the rest.
I have finished planting everything. I did do a little stepping stone at the base of the stump. A little bit of broken pieces of paver with some moss tucked in between. I hope the moss spreads throughout that area. I do need to get a few more peach berry ice coral bells and maybe one or two more hellebores. So I did plant three over here. I do have two large patriot hostas, one right there, one behind the stump, and this gorgeous bleeding heart plant right there with a few small hostas tucked along the sides. Um, I did not plant a juga. I probably would do that at a later date because I do want to get my hands on a few more uh, corbels and hellebores for this area, and I probably will mulch then. Um, I do need to go ahead and clean up all of this trash right here. So I uh, thank you guys for joining me on this project. I think it turned out great. And I hope again to see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.